Welcome to the introduction of video synchronization for the MP1080A. In today's demonstration, we will use two players, two monitors, and a crossover cable. A crossover adapter is something that looks like this. Basically, it acts as a router so that we can connect one cable to two players, and no router is needed. So now we'll connect the cable. And now I've powered my players on. While the players are loading, I'll give a brief demonstration or a description of what is needed when we have more than two players. Since video synchronization can be up to 16 players, in that instance, we would not be able to use a crossover cable or crossover adapter. We would then have to use a hub or a router so that we can support up to 16 players. But if we're only using two, this would be a great space saver. For video synchronization, both players will have the same dspconfig.txt file so that each player can recognize when the other player is ready to boot up. Once both players are ready to go, that is when video synchronization will begin and both videos will proceed to play. If one player is not ready, the other player will continue waiting. So in this instance, as of right now, the videos are trying to sync up with each other and in a moment they will begin playing. Now that both players have loaded, you see the demonstration of video synchronization.